for a foot. Right on goal. He scores! Sack it! Across. He scores! He scores! Hayden tuck it in. Wide open. Hayden Church. He scores! And it's 5 nothing. He has 29 clubs around the National Hockey League. Oh, boy. I'm coming. Don't worry. You want to go? Don't give me the whatever. Like I changed your diaper six years ago. A foot skating. And now he had a fight. Jim Cummins and Strudwick. <laughs> Strudwick's a lot bigger than we see Cummins over the years. He is a character player. He knows his role, and he will give it to you every night. And that is the end of the game. He has win 5-0. You know, either I fight that guy or he might run, run one of our guys through the boards. I look back and say, I should have fought him. So, good first game, you know. Good guys got their goals and just shout out. Uh, I thought Tamo and Paul, uh, along with Joe, I think it made, uh, it made Joe, uh, I think, you know, he had the big smile on his face since July 3rd, since those guys signed. So all in all, uh, for the first game, it was a pretty good effort. Avalanche down 3-1. Avalanche need a little spark, John. Now turned over by Sackett. Look out the Bruins. Thornton wide open. They score. Canuba on a turnover, and it's 4-1. Three out of four games the Avalanche have lost now. And, you, you know, you, it just hasn't been the kind of start everybody expected no, from the Avalanche. This was not in the brochure. No, uh, no. This Mark. is clearly a work in progress, and they're discussing that right now. The Avs are having a closed door team meeting as we speak. Team so meeting five can... games into the season. Well, it's, you know, it's really not in the brochure. They're definitely not, and we're telling everybody not to panic. Simple. You guys aren't getting a message, boy. We, as a team, are not getting a message. Someone tell me I'm wrong right now. I'll, I'll listen to what you have to say, but I think we're, we're our teammates. You know, when you have to do it, you do it. You don't want to do it all the time, and it's just part of the game. We just want to make sure that we uh, all held ourselves accountable in the, in the dressing room and not let this pressure that the media is putting on us uh, build up and overemphasize on it or make it an issue. Uh, you know, we just want to stay focused on our game. I want to win. So if you got a problem with me saying it and hold everyone accountable here and say, well, let's, let's, let's be positive, positive. I'm, I am being positive because you know what? I love around here. I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my career with this guy. A bunch of guys in here. We figured it out, boys. Let's figure it out, man. We played a horrible game. And we just can't go out there and, and throw our sticks on the ice and expect to win. We have to outwork the other team. And when we do that, uh, you know, we're going to get uh, a lot of win. But uh, when we play lackadaisical like that, uh, we're going to have some trouble. So, you know, it was a good wake up call for us. Following Tuesday night's loss to Boston, Colorado called a players-only team meeting. Now they have a new player in Steve Konowalchuk. The move made necessary by the news that Korea is out indefinitely with a sprained right wrist. Absent Bates Battaglia to Washington to get the Capitals captain. You know, I think everyone feels it's, it's, it's a great opportunity here. It's definitely what I, I played for. Uh, my whole career to get a chance that uh, you know a legitimate chance to win the Stanley Cup and you know I'm, I'm excited, excited to be here and, and have that opportunity. After the 4-4 start you know we were a little sluggish Pierre came to us said Connor Walchuk was uh, available and uh, all the coaches smiled and said you got to get him and you know Pierre's track record uh, he hit that he hit the jackpot again for us. Well fortunately we have some very astute people involved at the organizational level. Yeah, whenever they come to me and they, they want my support, I'm going to be right there for them. And I think that's fortunate that this uh, opportunity presented itself. So. Four and four, I guess that's a higher expectation. This team's too talented to be a 500 team. Well, we, uh, yeah, we've been up and down. Yeah, so this is a pretty big game for us. Uh, you take away the festivities, uh, it's a huge game for us. So I'm uh, just excited to get it, uh, get it going and get the festivities started. It was no surprise that Patty was going to retire someday. As an organization, we knew that day was going to come. You know, there's never going to be another Patrick Waugh, wow, just like there's not going to be another Wayne Gretzky and another Mario Lemieux. David Abisher doesn't have to replace Patty Waugh. Wow. David Abisher has to be David Abisher and be the best that he can be. And that's all we, we're asking of him. We're not asking him to come in here and do anything else.
The one guy I feel sorry for is David Abisher. To replace Patrick Waugh and to be playing behind these guys, he's the easiest guy to question. You know, look at the team, but look at David Abisher. Yeah, a little bit to the right. Everybody is panicking about the goaltending. Patrick Waugh couldn't play forever. Now the Avs have to advance on, and they've got to do it with David Abisher in that with Philip Sauve backing him up. And, and this is the direction that certainly Pierre Lacroix, Michel Goulet, and Tony Granato want to go in. The so-called expert in hockey thinks that, uh, you know, Patrick was gone, it's the end of the avalanche. What we have did as an organization is make sure that we were securing the future in the goaltending position. And you could ask anybody in our organization, we feel very confident that we have the best uh, brochette of young goaltenders for the future. Outstanding. I worked three years with uh, Patrick. Uh, I got along very well with him and uh, he helped me so much. So it's going to be a great day for him and I'm going to just appreciate uh, everything he, he teached uh, to me. I really consider myself very fortunate to, uh, to have played this game, the game that I love. And, and I don't know, I, I, I'm a bit nervous, but at the same time, I'm anxious to go out there see the reaction and, and uh, look at uh, the way it's going to be organized and because I know it's going to be uh, really well done. The Avalanche always done it the right way and I look forward to tonight to be honest with you. Good evening everyone. It is our privilege to be here tonight as the Colorado Avalanche organization will retire the jersey of the greatest goalie to ever have played this game of hockey. Patrick, again, you're a true champion of your day. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you're number 33, Patrick Watt. That night, you know, it was more a feeling of, wow, how fortunate I've been for 20 years to be involved with such a special situation or such a special relationship. And to see that he was happy, that he felt good, that his family was happy. To me, that was, uh, was just a great moment that night. Thank you, and good evening, everyone. I remember going to the rink for the first time with my parents and my brother when I was eight years old. To stand here in front of you tonight, 30 years later, is priceless. It's always fun to see that the fans appreciate what you've done over the years and, and also seeing the organization, uh, the way they've done it, I mean, it was, it was just great. Playing for the Avalanche, wearing this uniform the past eight years, and working behind a group of players that was never satisfied was a great, and I mean, a great honor. Also, to my roommate, an English teacher, <laughs> for those eight years, footer. Thank you for the good times. I'm retiring with the feeling I've done everything I could do to be the best. Once again, Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. Okay, Patrick Watt is gone. He is done. The number was confirmation, and I think that probably enabled David Abisher to maybe relax a little bit. And the next step everybody was waiting for was for him to steal a few points, for him to be the guy who everybody was pointing to as they walked off the ice and said, if not for him, we would have gotten zipped tonight. Fires it right on a save by Abisher. Oh, what a save by Abisher. Great save on a gamble. 
played so well that night against Calgary, I think he, it was kind of an official confirmation that while this never will be, quote, his team, he is the goaltender in the dominant role in the crease. And I think in that sense, he's won some players over.